Hey everyone, welcome to Star Atlas Dowcast, your home for news, education, and all things Star Atlas. I'm Dowcaster, your host. Today, I'm going to give you a full walkthrough on how to play Star Atlas all the way from the beginning. So I'll show you how to buy soul on a centralized exchange, sign up for a phantom wallet, send that soul from the exchange to the phantom wallet, We'll transfer some soul to Atlas, but we need to keep some soul. We'll connect my wallet to Star Atlas. We'll join a faction. We'll buy a ship. We'll supply that ship and we'll stake it or we'll send it out on its first mission. Whew. Okay, that's a lot. The only thing I'll say before diving in is that I spent some money on this episode. And while I know it's annoying and I will never tell you to smash any buttons, I hate it. I'd love if you would like this video to support the channel. That's it. Thank you. Okay, here we go. First things first, there are many ways to purchase cryptocurrency. When I first started training, I signed up for Binance, but honestly, use whichever platform you like, whatever's available in your country. The goal here is to obtain Solana or the Sol token. Right off the bat, I'm here on my Binance homepage. I have already loaded some USD into it, so I'm just gonna go and buy Solana. So I'll scroll down here on the markets page, I'll find Solana and I'll click buy. Here on the right, I have a USD balance of 110, so I'll purchase 110 click preview purchase, click confirm purchase, and now it's being processed. Awesome, now that I've got my Solana in my wallet, I'm going to sign up for Phantom Wallet. To do that, I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna look up Phantom Wallet extension for Chrome. Cool, I'll click on Phantom, click add to Chrome, and click add extension. You can also just download this from the website, but it's easier for me to do it like this. Awesome, now it's been added to Chrome, I'm going to click on my extension and I'm going to pin it so it's always visible. Then I'm gonna create a new wallet. Next, it's going to give you a recovery phrase. This recovery phrase is really, really important. This is the secret key if you lose your password or anything like that. My only advice is to not uh, save this on a digital device like your computer. Write it down on a piece of paper. I have a notebook and I'm gonna write it down right now and then I'll come back. Once you have written it down somewhere, click OK, I saved it somewhere. Next, you're gonna create a password. Agree and click Save. Awesome, they have a handy shortcut, that's fun. Click continue, and you're all done. Click finish, and now you have Phantom up here. So next what we wanna do is we wanna click on our Phantom wallet, and right here we just wanna click our wallet address. Automatically it'll copy it to our clipboard. Then we'll scroll down to Solana, move all the way to the right to the three dots, click withdraw. I'm gonna click max to pull out all of the Solana and I'm going to type in recipient address. I'm just going to paste in my wallet address. Now, I always double check. I'm gonna check the beginning here uh, to make sure that it's the same. First couple digits are the same. Last couple digits are the same. I'll click preview withdrawal and confirm withdrawal. Great, an email confirmation was sent to me, so I'm checking my phone. I could do it on my laptop, whatever. I am clicking confirm. As you can see now, I have $100 in order, so it's currently being sent. This could take a couple minutes. Awesome, now I just checked my wallet and I have the $107 of Solana here in the wallet, in the Phantom wallet. Now I need some Atlas so I can buy a ship. So what we'll do is we'll go to radium.io. Radium is the app that we're gonna use to transfer our Solana to Atlas. So we'll click launch app. I'll click connect in the upper right hand corner so I can connect my phantom wallet. I'll click phantom and I'll give it permission by clicking connect. Great, that's me. I'll change the from to Solana, which it's telling me that I have some and I'll choose two token. I'm gonna type in Atlas and you can see it right here. I'm not going to send all of my soul. Um, soul is a name for the token Solana because I'm gonna need some soul for transaction fees or, or gas fees rather. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too much here on a ship. I don't think there's many that I can buy. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll do half the soul. That's 416 Atlas tokens, and I'm gonna set it up here. So once I set it up, I'll click set up. My wallet will open to ask me to approve the transaction. I'll click approve. Now it'll allow me to swap. I will click swap. And it'll ask me to approve it once more. Now this is why you need to leave some soul in your wallet because it's going to take some gas fees and those gas fees or like transaction fees are in soul. Awesome, so if I click on my wallet, I now have Solana and Atlas. Let's go buy a ship, here we go. Now I'm gonna open Star Atlas. 
play.staratlas.com. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, first things first, I'm going to connect a wallet. Next to Phantom, I'll click connect. I'll give it permission. And I'm connected. Oh god, this is so exciting. Oh, okay, okay. So, should I choose my faction? No, let's let's do marketplace first. Let's buy a ship. Um, I cannot afford these fun guys at the top, so let's go all the way down to the bottom. I'm feeling an Opal Jet today, so we'll click on buy. And these are all of the people who are currently selling Opal Jets and the price they're selling at. So I don't wanna go for the high ask price. I think I'll just go for the lowest one. So I'll click on that. I only want to buy one, okay? Uh, this is gonna cost me 188.43 Atlas total. So I will click buy now. Right now it's asking me to confirm this transaction with my wallet provider. So I will click on Phantom Wallet or it's gonna show up automatically for me. I'll click approve. Then another thing should pop up. Yep, it's telling me that I've placed this order. Um, and now really important, I have to go to my inventory and I have to claim it. So we'll go to our inventory and we'll see our Opal Jet here. It looks a little funky and there's some Atlas uh, being reported there. I don't actually know why it shows that, but you can ignore the Atlas and click claim on the Opal Jet. Approve that transaction to claim it. Perfect, it is now processing to my inventory or settling the trade. And a quick refresh should show that in my inventory. And every once in a while, your wallet will get disconnected. That's what just happened to me. That's perfectly okay. Just click connect wallet again, click connect. And right there, you can see in the background, it's already doing it. So here I can see my Opal Jet. What's really cool is I can click on my Phantom Wallet. I can click on the Assets tab and I can see my Opal Jet here too. So just to confirm it. Okay, next let's sign up for a faction. So let's click on choose faction. I wanna do that for some reason before setting my ship out, just cause it's cool. Um, I have a video on factions that you can look more in depth into each one to decide what you wanna do. I'm going to choose the Ustur for this specific account here. Uh, they're really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna allow you to go in and read this on your own. It's really, really worth your time. They're, they did a lot of great work on creating these. And I'm gonna scroll down, click choose. It's gonna ask me if I'm sure. I'm gonna click choose again. And everything that you do um, that that validates you know, your identity on the, on the blockchain or uh, you have to approve it with your wallet. So I'll click approve. Welcome to Ooster. Awesome, Ooster, Ooster, I don't know, but it's cool. Uh, we can view our profile or we can click done. I'm gonna click view profile. Got my wallet address, organization none because I do not belong to a DAC. I can edit my avatar. Oh, what? Oh, these are sick. All right, let's choose one for now. I will choose this guy, he looks cool. Oh, signature request, okay, yeah, let's approve. Awesome, okay, next let's send our ships out. So from here, we're gonna click on Faction Fleet. Here you can read it and click Ship Enlistment or you can just click the tab at the top. Next, it's telling you that you can earn rewards by enlisting your ships. It's showing me my Opal Jet. And it has a lot of really good information about, um, you know, how much food it takes. So this one takes a lot of food, a good amount of ammo, and just a little bit of repair and fuel. And that basically means that's how quickly that those expire. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to we're gonna have to load our ship with the necessary resources so that it can complete its mission, and we can purchase those in the marketplace. But let's try and enlist it first and see what happens. I'll click enlist. Okay, it's telling me that I need. 74 fuel, 21 food, and 87 ammo. So I think I want to, I think I want to go buy those first. So since I didn't purchase this when they did the snapshot, I'm gonna have to buy them on my own, which is perfectly fine. So we need, well, let's do like 100 of each, fuel, food, and ammo. So I will go to the marketplace. I will click on resources. Let's click on fuel. I'm gonna trade. And I would like to, wow, this is really cheap, okay. I'm gonna click on this and I wanna buy, let's do 200, how much does that cost? 0.2 Atlas, that is nothing. I'm gonna do a thousand, just so I don't have to do this later. Okay, I'm gonna click buy now and we're gonna go through these same processes. Click approve, great, I've placed the order. Now let's go to the other ones. I'll click return to marketplace. I need food, click buy, go down here to the infinite one. This is gonna have the lowest cost it seems. Some people are trying to sell these, but it, it's interesting that they're doing that when Star Atlas is just selling all this for really cheap. So let's do a thousand of this one. Click buy now, that's 0.6 Atlas total. And click approve. 
Now, I do want to clarify something real quick. You're not going to have to spend a lot of money on resources. Um, something that the Star Atlas team said early on was that you're going to make enough Atlas on the mission that will take care of your resource costs. So this is the only upfront cost you're going to have to do. Let's return to Marketplace. We got fuel, we got food, and we need ammunition. Buy. Click the one with infinity, the cheapest one, and we'll do a thousand of this one. This is costing two Atlas, okay. But like like I said earlier, we loaded it with a plenty of Atlas. I've approved it, and great, we have it. So after this finishes loading, we're gonna see a three next to our inventory. That means that we now have all of these different resources that we need to go claim because they are NFTs. So let's click on inventory. All right, and click on resources. And here we'll claim the fuel. Looks like that's the only one that's loaded in so far. So I'll click approve. And then we wait just a minute or two for the food and the ammunition to come in as well. Up oh, and look, they're there, there. Okay, so we'll claim the food, click approve, fuel, food. Okay, so it looks like I just need to claim the ammo. Perfect. Okay, that should refresh and look a little prettier in, a, in just in a minute. Okay, perfect. So while some of these are taking a little while to go away, that's okay. I see all of my resources here in my um, in my inventory. So what I need to do is I'll click on Faction Fleet. I will scroll down. I will click Enlist Ship. The quantity of ships I will enlist is one because that's all I have. Right here, there's a toggle that allows you to supply the fleet automatically with resources in your inventory. I want to click that, right? So if I don't click that, then I there's no resources. We'll click that. I have enough in my inventory. Now we click Enlist. Approve the transaction. And everything is a transaction, right? I'm, I am staking. Basically what I'm doing is I am, I'm locking my NFT. I'm locking my Opal Jet. And what that's doing is it's benefiting the Star Atlas DAO and I'm getting rewarded for that. If we scroll down, it's telling me that I'm going to get 0.939 Atlas per day from this ship. And here's some things that you need to be aware of as well. These will, will go down over time. So if I, if I click on manage fleet, Nothing has happened to this yet, right? So the, the health is still at the top. But something that is very interesting is it'll show you when this will run out. For instance, it's already used one thing of food, one unit of food. This will run out in 24 hours, the food will. The fuel will run out in two, two days, so 48 hours. And the, it looks like the ammo will run out in three days and eight hours. When these are getting low, you have to come in here and click resupply. And I'll, I'll actually show you, look, this one's already lost one, so I'll click resupply. It says fleet inventory 20 to 21. I want to add one, click apply, approve the transaction. You do not need to do this. You can wait till it gets lower. And if they're all low, you can click resupply all. And in a minute, this is going to be back up at one. So that's how you supply your ship and stake it. You can look at all the fleet data. This is showing the burn rate, when it was resupplied, how much has been consumed, all the information you need. And if you have more than one ship, you can look at them all here. All right, everyone, that is everything you can do with Star Atlas today at the end of 2021. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. If you're still here and this video provided you some value, I'd really appreciate it if you liked this video to support the channel and subscribe and hit the bell to be alerted when I post more. Thanks for watching and never stop exploring.